All right, so this is from an 80s classic, but this is a brand new interactive ignition. Um, and interactive effects are something I've been playing with for Prop Euro 6. And with all the new functionality that we have, um, the new functions, uh, new capabilities, this kind of uh, an effect is actually possible. Now, the base of this blade is actually also a brand new effect, which is my shimmer blade. So when standing perfectly still, the base effect is actually just a silver static blade. Um, I do have the Eye of Thundera here, um, which will react to twist. Um, but this main blade um, is also using the new hyper responsive capability. So while it's still, it's going to be just a static color. Now, if I move it a little bit, you'll see it has a little bit of a shimmer effect. That shimmer effect is based on the acceleration and the swing. Um, so when you do bigger swings, you're going to get a little bit more of a, a shimmer, and it's going to last longer. Um, and the speed of the shimmer actually reacts to that as well. And it's also how quick you accelerate. So if I do a really quick swing, I get really quick shimmer. Um, and it will last longer on the blade. And then smaller movements will do um, smaller motion, and it's just always responding, but it's able to detect the, the acceleration and the speed of the swing and movement so that your blade is never just one thing. This is always real-time reacting to everything that you're doing with it, and it gives you a really cool effect. Now, the new uh, interactive ignition is, is kind of a new concept that will apply not only to ignition effects, it could do prions, force effects, a bunch of other things. I actually have a lot of ideas for it, um, but I wanted to demo it. So I'm using this Thundercats uh, uh, sort of omens effect. Now, I want to show you what this interactive actually looks like. So I'm going to retract. So now this time, this the interactive ignition is actually going to wait. It's actually waiting for me to interact with it. So I'm going to do the ignition. But I'm not going to do anything to my sword, to my saber. And you'll see it actually doesn't do the effect that I just had it run. Um, so let's just ignite. So it's just going to have the eye of Thundera there. And it's going to run through the ignition. And then when the ignition sounds, so this, the whole preview, uh, Thundercats, whole, all that, is part of the ignition sound. You could set it up for Crayon, but when it completes, it'll actually do the ignition just regular. Um, now, um, in addition to that, we'll retract. So the idea behind interactive effects is that it gives you more control. It also gives you kind of more immersion into it. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to do my swings. The each So this is just like in the 80s cartoon. Each swing will increase the blade length by a third. If I don't do all the swings, it actually won't increase until the, the sound con, uh, finishes out. So we'll do it again. And I, I was timing it to him, so. But I can do it whenever I want. And it's waiting. It's waiting for me to finish it. So it's not dependent on the sound. This isn't a timed effect. This is real interaction with the saber. It, the ignition effect is sitting and waiting for me to do something with it. And then once it completes, the sword goes into the new shimmer capability. Um, and then I added a new secret Easter egg. So I'm going to retract. So this time I'm going to try to time it to the voice of Lionel, um, but keep an eye on what's going to happen. Now, in the cartoon, he can also summon the Thundercats with the red beacon. If you swing a fourth time, you're going to get a full red beacon for the remainder of it. And again, it's all interactive, so it's dependent upon when I do that swing during the interactive period. So the, there is a period for each effect where that interactivity is available, and then once that period runs out, then the blade goes into normal motion. So the idea behind that is so if you never did any movement, the blade wouldn't sit off the whole time. Um, but let's do it again with all four pieces. So we'll go in. And you could set this up as a preamp. So um, I took the um, sound of the whole the whole intro music and him saying the thunder, thunder, thundercats, ho. Um, and then there's actually a tail of music and made that the out dot wave. You could have set it up as a preon. You could set it up as a force effect. You can set it up as anything. I wanted to do it this specific way to create this, the, the sort of moments. Um, but so again, it's what happens is once you hit power, the, the out sound is playing. And in this case, it activates the eye of Thundera. But then the interactive part is sitting and waiting, and each swing is going to increase based on what I've set it up to do. And then again, I did add that fourth swing into the mix, 
which will then do the full call of the Thundercats. So in the cartoon, it would put out the red uh, blast into the air and the Thundercat symbol, kind of like the bat symbol. Um, but so let's do it again. So I'm sitting and waiting. And then if I do my fourth, I get my red beacon. And that red beacon now will run out the rest of the ignition. And the rest of the swings don't do anything. So that's the idea of interactive. You actually set up for what to do. Now that out sound is finished, and now it goes into regular motion, uh, regular blade effect. And again, this blade effect actually has the shimmer. The shimmer actually exists in the three swings. Um, but the problem is, is the three swings, if you're doing too close together, you can't notice it. Um, but this, this, this new shimmer effect is actually going to be a new base blade effect, but it can actually get applied in a lot of ways. Um, but it is taking... Um, the swing speed combined with the swing's acceleration. So you can go fast, but if you don't accelerate into it quickly um, and create a lot of inertia, it doesn't pick up as much speed as if you do a really quick movement. Um, so that's part of that whole shimmer, hyper response capability. Um, but so I'm going to try to, I'm only going to do the first two swings to see if you can see the, the shimmer effect during those. So just one more time because it's a lot of fun. So. I'm going to do them early. So first swing, you see a little shimmer. Second swing, more shimmer. And then the fourth swing actually has a full power swing because in the cartoon, his, his blade gets covered in that power while it's doing that fourth throw. And then again, I get my, anytime I want during ignition, I can call um, the, the red effect. Now the red effect though is part of that ignition timing. So when the ignition actually finishes, it does go into normal movement. Uh, but so this is, uh, really just kind of a demo. There's actually a lot more I want to do with it, um, but this is a demo of using all the new functions and all the new capabilities plus a couple of new styles um, that are coming in OS 6 and just combining them in, in, in new ways. And, and I mean, it, it's always been whatever you can dream of, you can do with Profi, but now the, the number of new capabilities coming in OS 6 is, is such a laundry list of, of what we can mix and match, and you, can, you add that to what was already possible and it turns into this exponential possibility where there's really nothing now that um, we're not able to actually do with a profi board. Um, and these effects are only going to get more refined. Um, uh, the goal for me has always been, you know, pushing the envelope, but also keeping realism. So, you know, having a movement effect and run the inertia of this blade is something that I've kind of wanted to do in the past, but the way that the functions ran, it didn't make it possible. But now having this capability, just this baseline where your sword, your saber's movement is actually what's going to trigger what's happening to it in real time, um, hyper responsively, um, that's just, it, it, it's going to be amazing. So uh, I know lots of teases for everybody. Um, I did see the other Thundercats one and that kind of sparked the idea, um, but this is obviously a very different application um, using some really cutting edge capabilities. Um, so lots coming. Hope you enjoy.